Hello, um, I wasn't going to do a video for a couple of weeks, um, but after uh, our turnout um, in the mall, uh, as a show of respect for Prince Philip, um, uh, I, I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, uh, I follow this chap on Twitter called Wyhowska, that's W-Y-H-O-W-S-K-A, Wyhowska. It sounds very Polish to me. Um, he's got a message from the Royal Marines Association in London that says that um, the Royal Marines know and admire the respect shown on the mail to the Duke of Edinburgh, who was the Captain General, so the Governor. Um, the lion sleeps tonight. Um, so... Um, I kind of felt really, really proud. Um, I'm a London cab driver. So two to follow on Twitter would be Tom Jits, <laughs> Tom Jits Singh Sanga. I like this man. He talks my language. Um, um, and another chap would be a bus driver who gives away, gives away to cabbies all the time. So... Um, his name's Ediz, and he deserves a good following because he's a good man. And he used to vote Labour. He don't vote Labour anymore because he's tired of, of low-traffic neighbourhoods. So the first um, <clears throat> story, uh, this cabby says he's picked up David Williams, and he said his son's a big fan of David Williams. He, he's always liked the fella. So he asked him for an autograph, which I've never done myself um, I could have a great autograph book, and um, it, could he make it out the autograph out to me, uh, to Nick? And he only went from Oxford Street to Piccadilly. I thanked him, but I didn't take a look at the autograph. And when I got in, I gave it to me. Son, he said to me, "Have you read this, Dad?" He said, "No." He said he wrote on it, "I'm a lady, and your dad's a shit driver." So <laughs> that's excellent. Um, so. Um, this is me, um, this one. So I'm sitting in the cab and a, a big lad asks for the bricklayer's arms. I must be brain dead. The answer that come out was, come on, mate, there must be hundreds of pubs called the bricklayer's arms. The big fella also said, there's also a big F off roundabout at the start of the old Kent Road. So, so I said to him, well, jump in, mate. <laughs> so, um... Another one that I did, uh, I picked up Alistair McGowan, and uh, he lives in Barnes. Um, <clears throat> not Barnes. Um, he's not an owl. Um, so I picked up Alistair McGowan and his good lady, and they were deep in conversation, and they didn't really talk to me. Sometimes famous people talk to you. So we got to... Um, near Church Road. I'm going to tell you anymore. Um, and uh, they got out. And he came to the window, paid me. And I looked at him. I said, you know what, Alistair? He went, what? I said, she didn't really make an impression on me. <laughs> he scowled at me. And his wife laughed. <laughs> so, um, so <clears throat> last one. Um, I'm a non-smoker, but I don't mind if you do. So I pull up to a bloke smoking and say, don't put your cigarette out. Just have the windows open. I don't mind, especially if it's the last job and you're desperate for a fag, so. So, he tells me it's illegal. So I tell him, OK, well, don't smoke. He tells me he preferred to finish his cigarette. So I said to him, well, smoke then. He then pulls out his warrant card. <laughs> He's a policeman. <laughs> so, thinking on my feet, I said to him, you either want to have smoke or you don't. What do you want to do? He gets out. Comes to the window, shakes my hand and said, your old school boy, don't ever change. And I said, I looked at him and said, what a stupid conversation. And he was. So, um, last one. I, 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 I told a lie. Um, during the Olympic Games, I got a very late, a great run, about two o'clock in the morning, I think it was. Um, from Tower Hill to the BBC in Wood Lane. Now, it's it's about, well, it's 4am. 4am. On the way back, 
I drove down North End Road towards Brompton. Uh, and a blonde woman, <laughs> you could see her stockings in the distance on show. So as uh, I got near, she put her hand up. It's not a woman, it's a bloke, a very tall man. He got, <laughs> he got anchors down his, anchor tattoos down his, a couple of bluebirds on his, on his, um, on his hands. And um, he said he wants um, Clapham. I said, all right, but I've got no money. I said, well, how are you going to... Ver- <laughs> how are you going to pay? He said, uh, he raised his, his very fine, finely plucked eyebrows. I said, um, oral sex won't pay for my mortgage. <laughs> so, um, I'll be back. I'll try and improve on the quality of the stories. See ya.